We are constantly told that education will be the key in dealing with future challenges. What do we know about the role education played in European societies of the 20th century? In Europe, it's obvious that uh, education in the 20th century has played a very strong role in, uh, in, uh, in, in providing um, the possibility for um, uh, economic development. And one main uh, one area which is really clear is uh, the engagement of women in the labor force, in the active uh, population. Uh, was possible because uh, women got uh, started to have to go to school and have uh, uh, the same education as men and this would not have been possible if there had not been so and their participation in to the economy in Europe was key as well for the development uh, of Europe itself actually uh, data on levels of educational attainment is quite a young indicator uh, it started in the we started collecting in the censuses and in surveys in the 1950s, from the 1950s in most uh, societies. And then not in a very consistent way, so not asking from one census to the next the same question. And as well the comparison across countries was very hard because uh, we didn't have the same questions and not the same categorization. If you, at one point in time, you have the age structure of a population by age, sex and education, then basically you, have, you see, see the history of uh, educational de development. So if I know, for instance, that uh, a 50-year-old, the 50-year-olds in such in country uh, X at 30% uh, with a tertiary education, then I know that 10 years before, then the 40-year-olds had 30% uh, with tertiary education. So we take advantage of this characteristic. And then we have data points where we can actually check whether um, our data, uh, our reconstruction, what we learn from the education structure makes sense. There are two main uh, components that make a problem and that we need as well to reconstruct. One is the mortality, because we know that people with more education actually tend to live longer than people with lower education, so that, that creates uh, some problems. But the main one is that of migration. So if I, for instance, if I take again this example of a 50-year-old in country A in 2010, let's say, uh, and they were 30% and I go to 2000 and they are uh, not 30%, but they are 25%. So that means between uh, uh, 2000 and 2010, then we had uh, something happened and we had an increase in the proportion with higher education and that can only be with migration. So once we have um, reconstructed, we hope for as many countries as possible, so the age and sex and education structure of the population in uh, consistent uh, ways and harmonized uh, levels of education, then we'll be able, first of all, to explain some of the past trends, what has happened. So we'll be able to see, for instance, what was the threshold of uh, education needed to reach uh, knowledge economy in, the, in, in Europe, or what different, different, different things we'll be able to explain the past. And of course, having a picture of the past, having an understanding of the past is a great window on the future, especially for those countries which are like the low income or middle income countries with, who still need efforts, uh, which still need efforts in, uh, in education, uh, it's good for, for those countries to know what, what was the level of education, what, what efforts they need to reach uh, their economic or social development targets that they, that they have. So if you look in Europe today, uh, in 2010, let's say, uh, the um, mean years of schooling of uh, countries, of different countries, you have actually a large gap in terms of mean years of schooling of a population 15 plus. So you have Portugal with um, some seven years of schooling and you have Finland with some 13 mean years of schooling. So that's a gap of six years. And you can see the history of these two countries. You can see that Finland started 
much earlier in terms of educational de development compared uh, to, uh, to Portugal. And this is what uh, the whole project is about.